What up, party people? Workout time. That's right, it's the middle of the day. I'm already done with one job. I'm going to the next job. But before I do that, I'm going to do a Movember workout because it's day three of the 30 Day Fitness Challenge for Movember 2015, and we ain't going to stop until the end of the month. That's right, that's right, because the Mo knows, yo. That's what's up. So join me. Where is it? Boom, right there. US.movember.com. Go there. And then go to here. Boom. Mobro.co slash Andrew J. Perez. Go there. What up, Aaron Holt? Cash for the stash. What up, girl? Join my team. Let's do this thing. All right, we're going to do a crazy workout today. Aaron Holt, you're going to like this one. I think you're going to like this one a whole lot. Because sometimes you want, oh, girl, you're going to watch me work. You're going to watch me work. So a lot of people are like, dude, Perez, why does everything have to go so fast? Why are your workouts so crazy and intense and jumping all over the place? Well, you know what? Today, we're going to slow it down because speed kills. In stage combat, speed kills. On the road, speed kills. In the club, speed kills. Today in the workout, speed kills. So we're doing a slow-mo workout. We're going to get cranking on this thing, but everything on here is slow-mo or isometric, and I'm going to show you exactly what that means. Everything is going to be slowed way down. So we've got up and downs, pistol squats, push-ups, uh, shoulder stands, head stands, chair pose, L-sits, bicycles, and pull-ups. We're going to make it burn, baby. We're going to make it burn. Let's get this thing started up. All right. First, everyone's favorite workout beverage, apple cider vinegar. Or uh, it's organic. It's unfiltered. And, whoo, that's vinegary. Here we go. Oh, that gets it going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that really gets it going. Okay, can you see what's actually happening over there? You can. Yay! All right, I'm gonna flip this mat this way for this first move. I'm trying not to hurt myself on this. We're gonna find out I might hurt myself, but that's okay. It's worth it because I love you all that much. All right, ups and downs. I'm gonna get the timer started off here. Here we go. Boom. All right, this is a little stage combat technique for you. No hands, baby. All the way up and back down. Flip around. All the way up. And back down, flip around all the way up, and back down, and flip around. So that's the move at speed. Now let's slow it down slow mo style. This is gonna make it a hell of a lot harder because you gotta go slow. Oh, oh yeah, my legs are gonna feel this one today, especially when I go and teach stage combat to children in a couple of hours. After doing this. <sighs> yep, 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 that's the stuff. Ooh. There we go. Back up a little bit. So it's a little bit of Aikido for you martial artists out there in the world. You might recognize some of these moves. Notice. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, what's next? Uh, pistol squats. Okay. Let's try I can angle this up a little bit. Yeah, come on up. There we go. Hi, guys. All right, pistol squats. So some of you, this one might be a little bit tough. You can uh, adjust accordingly. If you need to do a one-legged squat, leg behind you. If you even need to do like a reverse lunge where your toe touches the ground, that's okay. For me, I'm going full pistol squat. Do it as slow as I can. Ooh, those are hard to do slow. <sighs> those are hard to do anyway. If you've got like a pull-up bar or something you can throw a rope over, you can give yourself uh, a little bit of support, hold on to something. I like using a resistance band over the top of a door. Oh, I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, that way it's not full support, but a little bit of support. I like that, so again, if you need to do a one-legged squat, you can do those slow-mo all the way down, all the way back up. If you need to make it a reverse lunge, toe touches the back, boom, totally awesome, totally valid. For me, I've been doing these for years, so it's a progression, you know? You gotta build up, oh! <laughs> and sometimes you fall over. But that's my favorite 1980s VHS yoga instructor once said, while wearing his tight, I'm not kidding, blue jean cutoffs while teaching his yoga on his video. If you fall, that's okay. Just fall with a little equanimity. Fall with a little awareness. And then get back up. Because that's what's important. Why do we fall, Master Wayne? So that we can learn to pick ourselves up again. That's what Michael Kane said. Uh, Push-ups. Oh, 
You guys are gonna like this, and by like, I mean hate. It's gonna be so good. Okay, we will get down here. I'm gonna go sideways so y'all can see this. This one's gonna be good. All right, get my parallel bars here. See if I follow along. I used the parallel bars again. I got bum wrists, so that's good for me. You can go on the ground, you can go up here, whatever works. So, a slow mo push up. I can thank Sergeant Smith of the Marine Corps who taught me these when I was training in water polo with him as the dryland coach. <sighs> yep. Slow mo push up all the way down as slow as you can. Keeping that core nice and tight. Not letting your back buckle. Uh, keeping your head up like I'm not doing. And again. See, things don't always have to be fat. I did one push up, and that was hell. Shoulder stance. Oh, these ones are great. I love these babies. All right. So, check this craziness out. Now, I like to do it with no hands. I'm going to use a little bit of hands on these ones because I want to go slow mo. All the way back, let your feet come up off the ground, slowly lift your feet up, and then raise heels to sky, and slowly back down. But my face is disappearing behind that couch, but that's okay. You don't need my face. You just need the lower body. I got my hands just here on the sides. Oh, they can give a little support. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Whew, that's hard. If you want to make it harder, get your hands up, up just out of the way. I don't even know if I can do this slow. Let's find out. Oh, I don't need elbows. Oh, thank goodness. What's next? Uh, oh, headstands. Okay. <laughs> These are going to be tough. So for me, I'm going to get my P-bars back out here. Uh, you can do this however works best for you. For me, actually going from a crow pose helps. I'm going to pop up here, do a little crow pose. And then I'm going to tilt forward as slow as I can. Uh, uh, trying to maintain my balance. Uh, all the way up. All the way back down. Back into... Uh, uh, One. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Whew, that's hard. Mm. See, don't need a lot of reps, but slow and steady. Oh, yeah. Oh. Makes it pretty. Uh. Technique is much more important than speed. What's next? Chair pose. Oh, why did I do this to myself? Uh, whoever came up with this set is a jerk. It was me. All right, I'm gonna get my feet just right underneath my shoulders, right under my hips. Whew. Now, you do this a number of ways. You have your arms in front of you. Wanna make it a little bit harder? Arms overhead, keep your head up, chest up, stomach in, knees over your toes. This is a nice symmetric one. So we're just gonna hang out here. We ain't gonna move for a minute. Really get those thighs parallel to the ground. Oh my God, this burns. Holy crap. Whoo! You gotta breathe through it. You just gotta own it. You gotta love it. Whoo! Oh my God. How much? Oh, what? Oh, whoo! Hiya! Okay. Uh, l -sit. Also isometric. All right, I think you can see enough of that when you just sing. All right, these puppies, these are tough. Again, I'm gonna use my P-bars. You can use a couple of chairs, a couple of yoga blocks, whatever you have access to. Or if you're a real badass, unlike me, you can go right on the floor. That's super hard. I'll sit. I'm already shaking. Oh man, you see that shake? Oh, I got a break. Oh. You gotta take a break, take a break, but get back in it. Oh, the triceps. Come on, bro. Oh. Oh. Seven more seconds. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, now, tilt down again. Slow more bicycles. Almost done with round one. This whole thing, go through it three times. Be torn up. Slow more bicycles, a little different than the regular bicycles. Tilt the back. Get those legs as low to the ground without touching. My hands are not pulling on my head. And I'm making sure that my elbow and knee make contact at the top. Other leg is totally straight. Oh, oh this is killer. Oh my god. Oh. Gotta get through it. Gotta get through it. You know what's harder than this? Cancer. So work out. Take care of your body. Don't give illness or sickness a chance to survive. Work out. Eat well. Oh, pull-ups. We gotta go on an adventure. Come with me. We're going on an adventure to the land of pull-ups. Ah. Okay, here we go. It's pull-up time. Pull-up time. That's what time it is. Lights. All right. It's adventure time. That's right. All right. So when you're doing a slow-mo pull-up, this will be stupid looking. Slow as you can, all the way up. And slow as you can, all the way back down. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lordy. Oh, okay. One more, one more, one more. I got this. Dangle. And. Oh, you can tell my feet aren't touching. Because I'm rocking. Oh, it hurts. That's so good. Oh. Lordy Lord. So that's the set for today. Aaron Holt, thanks for joining. Hashtag cash for the stash. Join me, mobro.co slash Andrew J. Perez. Let's kick cancer right where the sun don't shine, y'all. Peace out. I'm going to go do this a couple more times and then go teach some kids some stage combat. I love you all. Peace. Yeah.